Good day everyone. I've got this Whirlpool dishwasher here and it is not spraying. I'm not getting the water that I need. There's a little bit of water in the bottom and then I can push it to a drain cycle for a few seconds and it'll drain it out, but it's not spraying like it should. It's kind of making a funny noise, uh, a little bit different, a little bit lower tone than uh, the normal too. So it's, uh, it's acting like a motor is trying to run and, and it's not running. Just to show you here too, so you see how it's on 58, it starts at 59. You would normally hear the water running through this thing and it's starting its cycle and it is not happening. Okay, this is the dishwasher line right here. So I'm just gonna shut the water off to it. All right, I've now shut the breaker off to it. So now I'm just gonna take it apart and uh, pull it out. Okay, here's some of the symptoms. You can see there's some dish soap down there, but it's got water. It's got water in there, it's just not spraying. Okay, now to get this thing out, first thing I'm going to do is just unscrew those clips right there from the overhead. Now down below the dishwasher here, there's this little kick plate. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this too, so that way this thing isn't dragging on the ground when we pull it out and scratch the floor. Okay, I've got the dishwasher out now, and they had some insulation up here. I just set it aside right down here on the floor. You can see this is as far as I can pull it out because I'm running out of room there running out of a uh, water line. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the water line and then unplug it from the wall. That way I can pull this thing all the way out. I got a towel under here now. Let's go ahead and pop that loose. Okay, that's not too bad, but you can see there is a little bit of water in there. Okay, got the water disconnected and it unplugged. Now you have to worry about the drain line here. I'm just gonna try and disconnect it here. Okay, got the drain unplugged. And I put the dishwasher, see there's the connection there, put the dishwasher on its back. All right, here's a look at the bottom of it. What I'm going to shoot for now is the piece that's right in here. It's got that on there. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it right here and pop this bottom part off. So I'm just taking this off here. I'm turning it clockwise, getting some water out of there. So have your towels ready to go. There you go, just pop that off. See, it's just a little turn clockwise. So now that we've got that out, fully disconnected. And look at that. Look at all that junk down there. There's why it's not working. There's stuff in that pump. So here's where the problem is. All that junk in there, there's plastic in there. So now we'll go ahead and get this all cleaned out really good. You can see that's part of the problem. That might be our whole problem. Now what you can do, this is just held in there by a magnet. That's what that is, that magnet right there. You can just pull this right straight out. We're gonna clean this all out. See all that junk in there? It's a good idea. Even though we, we found the problem and the pump is clear, we're gonna go ahead and get this all nice and clean and clean that out as well. Okay, now that we got this thing all cleaned out, take a look. There was a couple even smaller pieces in there. I was able to get those out with a needle nose. Okay, now that we got it all cleaned out, time to put it back together. So this just goes right back in here. You can see it sucks right on down with that magnet. Okay, one of the tricks here for putting this back on, when you're putting this on, don't pinch that gasket in there. So I almost pinched that gasket putting that thing back on there, so be real careful. Make sure that thing's seated and you don't pinch it in between there. Okay, now I'm doing a real good check all around this thing to make sure I didn't pinch the gasket. Behind, especially behind here where you can't see, you're going to get a major water leak if it does and won't work right, of course. But it's on there tight now. We'll go ahead and hook that back up all our connections back up and test it out. You hear that? That's the sound of success. And that's how you fix a Whirlpool dishwasher that is not spraying.